is. So when you come up to come and pick up your vehicle from a sales consultant here at Mohawk Honda, you'll sit with somebody like me or, um, you know, like, uh, I messed up already. That's okay. Uh, okay. I feel like a news anchor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. It's pretty cool. All right. So. Fire in the hole. Are you good? Mm -hmm. You good? Okay. What's up? I'm Nate Greglick. And I'm Ashley Dobbs. Welcome, Welcome to, to Mohawk, Mohawk Tabletop. Table Talk. We here at Mohawk Honda know information is key to owning and purchasing a vehicle. Our weekly Mohawk Table Talk gives you maintenance reminders, Honda news, car gadgets, and common questions you have about owning or purchasing a vehicle. Let's get into today's episode, and today is episode eight. Eight episodes already. Whew. Awesome. So for our maintenance reminder this week, we're actually gonna talk about tires, and I'm gonna go in the back with Mike Healy to talk about uh, tires and when they crack and when you should get them fixed and different things like that, different treads. So uh, we're gonna head back there and yeah, I'll be right back. All right guys, we are back in the main shop again with Mike Healy talking about tire tread. So uh, we brought some tires for you, check them out. All right, Mike, what do we got? What are we looking at right here? Uh, this is a brand new tire about to be put on the wheel and we're gonna replace this old one with a lot of uh, excessive inner edge wear. So this is a nice looking tire. And we got this guy. Kinda don't want to touch it, but probably should put gloves off for this. <clears throat> so look at that. Wow. Look at that nice crack right there. So, what machine are we gonna use? Uh, this is a almost fully automated tire dismount and mounting machine. Sweet. Yeah, all dirty. Tire treads, like what makes a tire a good tire? What makes a tire a bad tire? Yeah, um, this is a tire that's kind of all purpose, uh, all season they refer to them as, rain and some snow conditions, all summer driving. Um, it's for going on a Lexus, so you don't want anything too aggressive and noisy. Is, the, is there a reason for these patterns on here? Or are they just there yeah, for good looks? Yeah, any of the channels in here will uh, direct water and, and dirt and whatnot away from the tire to give it better traction. It's like these things, mm -hmm. like this too. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. All right. So how long does this process take? Uh, about five minutes to change a tire, and we five gotta balance minutes? it afterwards. All right. Cool. Okay. Let me let me put this on the left. Our beautiful balancing machine. This will keep the car from vibrating when you drive down the road. Keep the car from vibrating when it's uh, down the road. All right, what we got? What's this thing? So take this arm. Take this arm. And you're gonna turn it back around to touch here, where the weight is gonna be positioned, which right here. And then press the foot pedal. Which one? Okay. This guy. Yep. Okay, beat. And then you're gonna bring it in to where the other weight goes, like where those old ones are. Yeah. Hit it again. Plug up. Okay. Cool. Now we're gonna spin it. Sweet. Now we get to spin the tire. That's it. And then it tells us it needs 10 grams on the side, and I'm gonna switch it to ounces, 25 and 125. So we're gonna see where that red line is. Yeah. That's where the inside weight's gonna go. And we'll do the other side. 
check spin and see if this all goes to zero. So even though from the outside of the car, this all looked good and measures about five or six thirty seconds, this tire was close to coming apart. Yeah, so make sure you guys are checking both sides of the tread because if not, your, your tire could be dangerous. So thank you, Mike. We will take that into consideration when we are looking at our tires and um, make sure everything is all good with those. All right, so up next we have, ooh, that, that looks, looks cool. cool. So we know gadgets make life easier. So the gadgets we found for your car this week are from gadgetflow.com. So, first up, I have one really, really cool that Nate has uh, a little sister accessory for. Oh, yeah. So, this is a solar heated roof rack road shower. So, for people who so are crazy. on the go, taking road trips, hiking, camping, um, anything that brings you out of the, the comfort of having your own shower, yeah. this is solar powered, so it heats up the water for you, and you have a shower right on top of your car. So that does retail at $300, but you really can't beat the convenience of a shower on top of your car. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. And I have one of the best ones that would coincide with the outdoorsy survivalist person who's going on a long road trip down road, Route 66. <laughs> and this is called the Camper Box. So the Camper Box goes in your car, in the the trunk of your car uh -huh. or is more like SUV so you can sleep in it. All you do is set it up on like a pillar just like you would your bed and then it comes with its own thing you lay down and you put your sleeping bag on there and it even gives you space to put your stuff underneath it. Cool, so it's like a little in-car bed it's, for you. It's a portable bed it's box spring. Lack and a of shower. Term. And a shower. You have a bed and you got a shower. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that retails for two seventy six forty two. Ooh, Ooh, to be exact. To be exact. So awesome. All right, great. Next, we're on to Honda, Honda News. All right, Nate, what do we have for today? So, Honda actually has its own racing force for anybody who doesn't know that. They make racing engines, different things like that. And they were actually providing their engines to McLaren. For anyone who doesn't know McLaren, they create a sports car. They also do racing as well. So um, it was sad to see that they actually dropped the Honda because they found that it was um, poor reliability, which is like... It doesn't line up It doesn't up make with, up. It might make sense, Honda, but, but okay. you know, that's what they said. <laughs> But uh, after they dropped Honda as their e uh, official uh, supplier for engines, Honda started stepping up their game, and now McLaren is actually impressed by Honda's performance. So Honda, we're back in the running. We're back. We're back in the running. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll see that improvement and want to take us back. Absolutely. All right. Cool. So up next we have. Um, Honda confirms urban EV order books to open in 2019. So this is the Neo Retro EV vehicle that debuted last year in Frankfurt at the Geneva Motor Show. Um, this, sad to say, is only going to be available right now um, in Europe and um, other countries because of the fact that you know, there's high costs associated. There isn't really a large market for the super mm -hmm. small cars that we have. Not and yet. Also, not yet. And the cost of, of the vehicle and the battery. Yeah. So um, a production version of this highly acclaimed concept will be introduced to Europe during late 2019. The exterior is going to be something similar to the concept, albeit with some production-friendly changes. So say goodbye to those ultra-slim roof pillars as they're not crash test friendly. So it's really cool looking, really new age. It looks like looks like a futuristic car. The car actually looks like they took the N600 and made it futuristic. The one that we have in our yes. showroom. Yes, yeah. Right? The, the throwback Civic Coupe. Because of the tight streets, tougher parking, and higher running costs, European and Japanese buyers will be their main market for now. But um, yeah. we'll put up some pictures on there so you can check it out. It's, it's almost like really the cool. Fiat. Yeah, Fiat it does look a little bit Fiat and then the smart like car. Not a huge market. You don't really see much of those on the road. So That's Honda's true. keeping it smart. Yeah. We got to stay competitive. Yup. <laughs> got to make sure. 
So, we did our gadgets, we did our maintenance reminders. Now it's time for our weekly sponsor shout out so you know what we gotta do. It is time for our weekly sponsor shout out. Our weekly sponsors are Mohawk County family members who have come in and left their experience either in service or purchasing a vehicle. So let's get into to uh, get into these. I will start with Great Dealership by Car Lady Debbie. Thank you, Car Lady Debbie. <laughs> I had a great experience with Mohawk Honda. My salesperson, Nicole, was great, not pushy, but very helpful. Would definitely recommend her. The whole staff was great, and the sales manager could not help me enough. Awesome. Well, Thanks, thank you, Debbie. Debbie, we appreciate it. And uh, stop in anytime. Coffees and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a simply enjoyable experience by C. John 1015. He says, I was referred by my mom and my aunt, and I'm happy that this is where I went. Pleasant experience, worked to get me in the best situation, and I'm very happy with my new vehicle. So, thank you very much. And they worked with Zach Esposito and Caleb, one of our delivery coordinators. Moving on to what is in the garbage. So today we have our delivery specialist, Jake Doyle. Say hi, Jake. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> we have Jake here today to talk about what he does um, as a delivery specialist. For those of you who don't know, we do have an elite team of specialists that walk our customers through their delivery of their new or pre-owned vehicle, going over technology, gadgets, um, anything really that, yep. that it's like a one on one class. One on one class. There you go. <laughs> so, um, so Jake, if you could just walk us through what what your you and your team do, and you know questions that you yeah, encounter absolutely. and how you help people every day. Absolutely. So basically, what me and my team are, we're like walking manuals. Um, what happens is, when you come to pick up your vehicle from Mohawk Honda after from your sales consultant, you'll sit with somebody like me, um, and we'll basically go through the entire vehicle with you because there is a ton and ton of technology in these cars, mm -hmm. and it can be quite overwhelming you know there is a lot of stuff in these new vehicles um, and we'll hook up at your phone your audio we'll set any way you want to basically your personalized settings is what we do all right and we want to make sure you're happy and we are the we are the last people you will sit with mm -hmm. um, so that is our job to make sure you guys leave happy and are masters with your new car and you know after the fact you know down the road if you know you're having a little bit of a problem you can always give us a call you can always stop in we'd love seeing our customers come in and basically reviewing the class that we have. And now you mentioned a personalized settings worksheet. Now, could you just give us a couple of items off Absolutely. of that list Absolutely. what you cover on there? So basically we'll go through an entire list of your vehicle that's specific to your new car. And that, that'll have like your audio, your uh, phone settings, your door locks, the color of your screen, any tiny little thing you think you can adjust, you'll sit with somebody like me and we'll do it for you. And we'll show you how to do it so in the future you'll be masters on it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jake. Absolutely. I think that all of our team here really appreciates the delivery specialists, Absolutely. including um, not only the sales consultants, but our customers as well. Because sometimes people are afraid to ask how to use things, and exactly. you give them a full tutorial. Exactly. So. What's, a, what's the most common question you get? Most common question is probably with their phone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of phones won't sync up at first or they'll have a little bit of trouble you know getting it to that point and um, you know you sit with us and we get it for done for you in less than a minute all right and that's that's generally the major thing mm -hmm. and there's a lot of like intuitive stuff in the system that people have questions about whether you know it's setting it so when they come up to the vehicle it automatically unlocks or their walk away auto lock a lot of things like that you know? awesome. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate, it. Appreciate it, Jake. Thanks for checking us out. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe below so we can give you more content on the weekly. Please like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And yes, we do have a Snapchat. Links are in the, the description below. As for us, subscribe for more information and tips. And we will see you next time on Mohawk Table Talk. Bye. 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 Bye.